Hey there, it's Nina with Walleye Stamping. Thanks for joining me today. This is the project that I'm going to be sharing with you. Um, this is a little box that I created and kept it simple, simple, simple. All I used was two papers. I used pool party cardstock, and for the decorative aspect, I used the uh, Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper. I wanted to make this elegant, but keep it simple and quick all at the same time. Now you can hear something rattling. I just have some Jordan almonds inside of my box. This box measures three inches square by two inches deep. So it would be a good size box to put a lot of different things in. And it's really quick and easy to put together. So let's get started. Now the box I'm going to do today, I'm going to do in different colors. I wanted to just give you an idea of how you could make one with some glitz to it and then make one without any. So I've chosen to use Smoky Slate and the base of your box is going to be five, or not five, six and 15 16 inches square. Then for the lid of the box, you'll need an additional piece of Smoky Slate and this is five by five. Then to cut out all of the embellishments, I'm going to use a piece of our new in color, which is powder pink, and this is five inches by six inches. To cut out the embellishments, I'm going to use the flourish thinlets. I'm going to use this large flourish here, and then this piece over here. Let me grab my Simply Scored scoring tool. The scoring on this box is super simple. I'm going to put the larger piece, which is the box bottom, and I'm going to score at two inches on all four sides. Then I'm going to put the lid piece in and score this one at one inch on all four sides. That is simple scoring right there. Now I'm going to grab my bone folder and go ahead and fold and burnish all of my score lines. Then we're going to go ahead and cut these out. Now as you can see, I have two score lines running horizontal and two running vertical. We're going to cut straight up this score line and we're going to stop when we reach that first horizontal line. And then we're going to do that over here on this side. And if my hands are shaky, it's because Tucker and I had Wendy's for lunch after his eye doctor appointment and I made the mistake of drinking a soda with caffeine. So there you go. Then I'm going to take these little tags and cut a small wedge out of each side just like this. Do the same thing on this one. Then we'll turn our box around to the other side and we'll repeat this over here. Now this is the box top and we're going to do the exact same thing on the lid. Next I'm going to use my fast fuse and I'm just going to put a couple of strips of adhesive on all four of these tabs and then assemble my box. Then the top of the box is done the same way. Now what we need to do next is grab our Flourish Thinlets, our Powder Pink cardstock, and our Big Shot and get these cut out. I'm going to lay my Powder Pink cardstock on my Big Shot. I have my magnetic platform, my clear acrylic plate, then I'm going to lay down my Flourish and cover it with my second acrylic plate and run that through. Next I'm going to take 
this piece and I'm going to cut four of these out. So now that we have everything run through the Big Shot, these pieces here are actually too long for the box. So we have to cut a few of these out. And what I do is I just cut off this little end piece right here just by snipping the areas where they're attached following that circular curve around. Then I'm going to need six of them. So I know that if I cut off three from this side, and when I say that three, I'm talking about complete circles. So I'm just going to do the same thing over here. Just cut these three away, and then this is what you'll be left with. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these cut out, and I'll be right back. Now to adhere these to the box top, I'm just going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just going to go in here and just put dots of glue pretty much on all these little end piece areas and then I'll run a few dots down the stem and some of this is going to be hanging off a couple of sides of the box and we'll just take our scissors and snip away the, those portions that we're not going to need. And I think I'm going to call that done. I'm going to take this and put this little flower right up here in this corner and then just lay it down on top of my box and gently tap it into place and if a little glue comes out from underneath your flourish it's okay because it's going to dry clear. I'm going to take these pieces and what I'm doing on this is I'm just running a very thin bead of glue just around the top edges of these circles. And if I feel like I have too much, I'm just going to swipe my finger across that and wipe off, off, wipe off the excess and then stick it down to my box. And I'm just lining it up so that that cut edge of the box is basically running down the center of this piece. I'm going to sit it down so that I can work with it a little bit easier. Now that this has had time to sit up a little bit, I'm going to flip my box upside down and I'm just going to go in here and trim off these little pieces that are sticking past the edge of the box. Okay, there we go. Then what you'll do is just go around and put the other three of these around the edge of your box. Okay, so now that our box is done, I'm just going to go ahead, oopsie, I'm losing candies, and put a few of these Jordan almonds into this little box. Then pop the lid on. So there we go. There's a couple of options for you. We've got the smoky slate in pink and we've got the pool party with the dazzling diamonds glimmer paper. I like the softness and the elegance of both of these boxes and it just depends on if you want to go with something that has a little shimmer and glimmer to it or if you want to go with something that has just more of a matte finish to it. So those are my two boxes that I wanted to share with you today. All of the supplies needed to create this box along with the measurements are over on my blog at Walla Stamping. Just hop on over there and you can print out the PDF sheet to get the instructions on this. If you have any questions or are interested in the new catalog, you can certainly send me an email. The email address is nina at wallastamping.com and request a catalog. If you are a customer of mine currently and have made a purchase with me in the last six months, I will send you the catalog free of charge if you are not my customer or have not made a purchase in the last six months, then I will pay for the catalog. I just ask that you pay for the shipping. So I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.